That's a nice shirt. It's a Ben Sherman. In the modern society, fashion has become very important because it has the power to make people look good. After the Second World War, an English cloth manufacturer said, looking good isn't important, it's everything. This clever man is Arthur Benjamin Sugarman, founder of Benjamin Company in Brighton, England. The brand became known during the 1960s with the button-down shirt inspired from America's form of fashion. But Sugarman succeeded to differentiate from imported products with higher quality materials and stitch details. Youth cultures in the 60s and 70s made Ben Sherman part of their must-have and bands like the Beatles and Oasis were outfitted in Ben Sherman. Nowadays, the British success story continues within its home market and is being repeated throughout United States, Canada, Australia and Europe. Ben Sherman is now one of the leaders of casual clothing in the UK and owes its success to the heritage of the brand. Before mods and skinhead symbol, Ben Sherman has become a world-class British lifestyle brand. After this brief introduction, let's now see the pastel analysis starting with the political aspect. Ben Sherman is a London-based company but it now operates in a few countries all over the world such as the United States, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Sweden, Germany and Hong Kong in China. Most of them are politically stable and moreover are influenced by British culture. And the economy is, since two years now, in crisis. This slowdown has an effect on consumers' behavior. Global demand decreases and customers pay more attention to the price they pay. Interest rates remain low but inflation and unemployment levels are high and tend to increase. And because of its international business, the company can suffer from currency exchange rate fluctuation. Abroad, Ben Sherman works globally. Apparel offer is the same in every country the company is established in. But consumers' habits are changing and they become more and more confident in online shopping. The company also uses social networks to reach its customers and keep the brand image fresh. Moreover, Ben Sherman's target customers are teenagers and young adults, these people follow the fashion trend that changes faster and faster. As a consequence, the impact of the website benjamin.com and other web pages is growing every day, like the segment of online sales. Companies like Ben Sherman are reliant on information technologies which are useful tools for success. As we said before, the company is under UK law, so the presence of regulatory law is great. The tax level remains stable, but Ben Sherman is only a retailer. Its suppliers are established in low labor cost countries where the government pressure makes manufacturing easier and cheaper. To apply Ben Sherman um, case study to Porter's five forces, we have come to an agreement where the degree of rivalry between existing competitors includes its structure, structure of the industry, degree of differentiation and strategic objectives. Threats of new entrants to this industry can raise the level of competition, but for Ben Sherman, the key barrier to entry includes economies of scale such as bulk buying, capital invest investment requirements, access to distribution, channel, especially Ben Sherman has a uniqueness in its quality, price, design and brand image. Threats of substitute can lower the industry attractiveness and profitability because the limit price level, this depends on the buyer's willingness to substitute, where there is relative price and performance for alternatives, for example, they would go where the clothes are cheap somewhere else, like Zara, FC UK and Gap. Bargaining power of buyers, where the people creating demand of an industry, this happens where there are few dominant buyers and many sellers in the same industry. But for Ben Sherman, there is only product differentiation, where the brand is not price sensitive, but people, as they are willing to put a premium price for the latest time. 
bargaining power for Ben Sherman supply is low because the company works in a lot with a lot of manufacturers to make the price negotiation easier and have a low price to supply. Ben Shomer is targeting the market segment of young people between the ages of 18 to 35. They discovered the market based on the link with British music and now focuses on delivering products that are relevant to that market. Then, like the other's clothing brands, Ben Sherman supplies its stores from Asian manufacturers using well-established distribution channels. 23% of sales come from their own stores, while the rest comes from wholesales to independent and department stores. By using the approach of the marketing mix, the brand remains competitive to satisfy different customers' needs and extend the market share. A strong brand image of Ben Sherman ties the wide range of products and uses major fashion shows to launch its collection to the press. Price-wise, Ben Sherman price is not price sensitive as people are willing to pay pre premium prices for the latest style and quality. Ben Sherman currently uses four distribution channels such as their own stores, indep independent fashion stores, department stores and its, and its website. This way, Ben Sherman ensures to create a unique concept to make, to make his customers feel where they are. In order to gain more exposure for the, for the brand, Ben Sherman outfits famous people such as bands like The Beatles in the Past and recently Amy Winehouse. Ben Sherman throughout the years has been using strong marketing strategies which can clearly see that the company is market orientated which gains success by establishing a strong concept and positioning within the market. The integrity and success of Ben Sherman is partly dependent upon a careful selection of the retailers through whom Ben Sherman products are sold. In recent years, an effort was engaged to restrict distribution to attain higher price points in the United Kingdom and to focus on core product capabilities, which is men's apparel. This will raise future opportunities for the Ben Sherman brand. Product, quality and design are critical to the continued success of the brand. Ben Sherman men's apparel products are developed by design teams dedicated by Oxford Industry. Their focus is on the target consumer. The design process combines feedback from buyers, consumers and sales force along with market trend search. Part of Ben Sherman's strategy is to maintain controlled distribution to protect and grow the brand. Being licensed by Oxford Industry is an attractive business opportunity for Ben Sherman. It requires modest additional investments and can yield high margin income. It also affords the opportunity to enhance overall brand awareness and exposure. Ben Sherman brand is marketed through print, moving media, promotional programs, internet marketing, and trade show initiatives. The objective is to enhance the presentation of the products. The apparel sales offices and showrooms are located in busy places, including London and New York. Ben Sherman is dependent upon the availability of raw materials and the ability of the producers to meet their requirements. If Ben Sherman doesn't negotiate reasonable prices on the raw materials, it could have a negative impact on their ability to deliver quality products to, to customers in a timely basis or result in higher costs or reduced net sales. Ben Sherman depends on a group of key customers. The industry is subject to rapidly evolving fashion trends. They must offer innovative and market appropriate products to avoid affecting sales and lead to excess inventory, markdowns and or dilution of the brand. Ben Sherman used approximately 100 suppliers located throughout the world, but primarily in Asia to manufacture the products on an order-by-order -order basis. This can result in a long-time delivery and a lack of reactivity which could affect the stock availability. They also have to face a strong competition among the industry. We can clearly identify two main groups among the fashion industry. On one side, there are businesses who concentrate on mass production 
and on lower prices, such as HGM, GAP, and Zara. They are called cost focus. In the second group, we can find companies that offer quality products at a higher price. Ben Sherman is part of this group and is called a differentiation focus. Conclude, Ben Sherman is a good example for a company to use the marketing mix as it successfully targets the right customers while keeping in mind the brand image that helps the business to remain competitive and extend its market shares and influence. Moreover, over the last 40 years, it has transformed itself from a small shop to a multi-million pounds business thanks to a strong link with music as differentiation. However, there are some drawbacks that the company needs to consider. First, the number of distribution centers is too low to be the market leader. Then, the competitive advantage of the brand is limited and partly due to the heritage of the brand. What is more, Ben Sherman is too reliant on a specific group of key customers and targets a narrow market window where only British-style products can be seen.